Hey guys, welcome to the Vervo Digital Channel. Today we're gonna to show you how to export and then import a Google Tag Manager container um, for tracking capabilities. So uh, first thing we're gonna go over is how to export a container. Here I am in my template container. First step you're gonna do is go here to admin and you're gonna hit export container. So you're gonna create the container that you wanna export. So I'm gonna say website tracking two here. We're gonna make sure this box is checked in any of these that we're wanting to utilize. So usually it's all of them. Hit export, that's gonna download a file right here. So now that you have that file, save that file to your computer or to your hard drive, and then you're gonna go back here. If you have your new container that you wish to upload this container to, this, let's pretend this is a new space here, you would go back to admin, import the container, and then you would find that file. I have mine, GTM, Google Tag Manager Basic Container. You would select that, and then you're either going to create a new or existing workspace. So if it's existing, you can hit existing and then choose your workspace. If it's an existing client, if this is a brand new from scratch container. You can create a new one here and then you can title this workspace. We'll call it website tracking three. All right. So we've got this here, website tracking three, and you can choose to either overwrite the entire container. So everything that was existing will be overwritten or you can merge them. So all new tags, triggers, and then settings will be merged with the old settings. Um, this will be completely up to you. I'm going to overwrite these because we're making a brand new workspace. So I'll confirm this. We'll create this uh, website tracking three. But the most important part is hit submit, save your version. So this will be a new version here that I've published. Here's the synopsis of everything that was published. And the last part to make sure everything's working is going to be coming here to the workspaces out of date, clicking update, and then updating the workspace. From here, you can preview the workspace um, on the correct website that you have the container attached to. Hope this video helps. If you guys want more videos like this, please like, subscribe, comment. I'll answer any questions that you have promptly. I look forward to making more videos for you. Thanks.